So in the beginnings of the Cold War in the 1950s, the American Navy was doing everything possible to be one step ahead of the Russians. And we knew there were submarines being built and we wanted to listen to these Russian submarines. So we developed this intricate array of underwater microphones. All of a sudden, a whole new world of undersea sound opened up. In the 1990s, a sound was picked up of a frequency no one had heard underwater before, 52 hertz. No other animals in that vicinity make a sound so low. We have never seen another signature like that. His source was so unique that we were able to track him for 11 years. I've looked all the time. Just to see if he's not the only one out there. I wrote a news article about the 52 Hertz whale. Before the weekend was out, there was enough interest in that that the weekend review section editors asked me to write another one. All of the interest was really about the story of this animal and what it represented, the idea of loneliness. It's such a unique and such a touching subject to think that there's somebody out there that's just alone, floating about. We know he's heard by us, and I'm sure the other whales probably hear him too, but the question is, do they ignore him? And that touches you. Ultimately, as a communicative species, you want to be heard. Whales are social beings, period. The fact that he is not being understood and he is a social being and that nobody is responding to him, absolutely, without a doubt, this whale is lonely. And that's not being anthropomorphic. Take any social species and if they call out and try to communicate with others and others don't respond to them, then you are going to end up with an individual that is feeling lonely, unfulfilled, and is searching for some type of connection with others. As long as different species can connect, why wouldn't we try to reach out to him? What does that say about us if we don't? There's a couple things we have to do. We have to organize and research the best options for a boat. We would go, get the price, how much food per person, how much gas. Given the distances you're talking about, and there are other people involved, you know, this could be a half a million dollar project. Ships, open ocean, weather, it'll be a good challenge. Don't let that be something that holds you back. Making our quest even more difficult is the dramatic rise of ocean noise pollution which is making it harder to hear 52's lonely call. This acoustic smog caused by commercial shipping traffic, seismic gas and oil exploration, and military sonar has been linked to deafness, tissue damage, and in the most tragic cases, mass strandings in whales and other marine mammals. What if we found them? Oh my God, that would be fabulous. That would be, wow, I mean, couldn't, I couldn't even explain it, how great that would be. Why wouldn't we try to let them know that we hear you, even if we do it inadequately, even if we blunder doing so? The mere fact that a mystery like this can still be around just shows how wild and crazy and mysterious nature still is. We're still coming up with things we can't explain. We should be going after all great mysteries like this.